<laughs> What's up you guys? It's Rashida Joy from Pretty Pumped Fitness and it's been a minute since I've done a YouTube video, like straight up YouTube video. But I'm back because I got some really exciting news and some really exciting developments in my business that I gotta share with you guys. So I know we've been through COVID and we've been through so much since the last time that we actually spoke like this. So welcome back and thank you guys for uh, being a part of the pretty team, okay? So I had to tell you guys, I started a new venture called Verger Herbs. Yay, I'm excited about it. Um, and I wanted, to get, I wanted to give you guys the story behind Verger, or Verger, herbs okay so this is going to be a little story time okay so before i start talking about all the products that i have i wanted to give you guys how this came about all right um so if you guys aren't following me on instagram it's at rashida joy or at verger herbs okay um and you know check out all that stuff subscribe and like after you find some information in this video useful so let's talk about how Verger Herbs started. Matter of fact, let's talk about how I really even got curious about herbs and how this all happened. So I'm not gonna take you back too far, but this is a story time. So go ahead and grab your, you know, your water, your juice, your green juice, and let's listen to this story. So you guys know, some of you guys know, my mom passed away from colon cancer in 2012, right? And she was really the motivation behind why I went plant-based, why I started changing my diet, why I started becoming more active, all of that, okay? But what you guys don't know is my mom tried her best to go plant-based and I'm telling you, back then there was not as much information as there is now. So in 2010, 11, my mother invited me on a, on a uh, adventure, okay? <laughs> so the adventure was to fly to Oregon, get some herbal medicines, things that were you know, legal there at the time that were not legal everywhere else. If you catch my drift, okay? We're not legal everywhere else. So we went there and we got this um, oil that was really good for healing the body of things like cancer, okay? And then she said, all right, well, there's an herbalist that I want to visit, Los Angeles. So we found this herbalist that I shall keep nameless because I didn't get permission to use their name, but um, we sat with this herbalist for two hours, okay, two hours, and uh, I was impatient. I think I was, I was probably, you know, grown. I was like 26, 27, but, you know, irritated. And um, <laughs> just, he was just talking so much um, depth that I wasn't ready to receive. You know, he was talking about how herbs can heal and how um, your natal chart and pain and stress and tension and uh, the stars and the moon. And I was like, I don't know what this guy is talking about. I just want to hear about the herbs. But he combined all of that into healing the body. But like I said, I wasn't really ready to hear it. I wasn't. I just, I wasn't. Um, I think looking back hindsight i was just really more concerned with my mother getting better than what are we talking about here right but you know everything comes back full circle guys okay so um we sat with this herbalist and he went over all this information and then we even went to go tour his herb shop right he had a whole brick and mortar herb store and you know we went through and we looked at the herbs and for some reason back then it's either 2010 or 2011 it just seems so expensive. Like, it seems so expensive. I was like, these herbs are expensive. But back then, you know, I wasn't making much money. And my mother wasn't making much money. She was on government assistance. So for some reason, we couldn't afford the herbs. Yeah, we couldn't afford them or we didn't want to pay for them. But again, hindsight. 2020, right? And I, I don't believe or think that I actually knew the power of the herbs. I still was coming into my holistic journey, still learning, um, still eating oxtails and ribeye steaks. I was, okay? And it, it's, it's not easy. So my mother, um, she passed away in 2012 and then I 
you know, this story I've shared it many times, but if not, I'll make another video talking about how this journey really, uh, my mother's passing really affected my, my new dietary um, evolution. Okay. Matter of fact, I might even have a video of that. I promised to myself that I was going to start changing the, what I was eating, how I was eating, how I was going to deal with stress, how I was going to deal with anger and hurt because all those things manifest disease. Okay. So I decided to go pescatarian and this is a whole story. I got a whole video on this. Okay. But years later, what was that 2011, 2010, 2012, around that time, 10 years, 11, 12, 13 years later, um, you guys know I've been getting good with my plant-based journey. I've been helping a lot of you guys transition to eating plant-based for healing, okay? Not vegan for eating junk food, but how to actually heal your body of any food-related illness um, and how to do that plant-based. I'm talking about diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, um, arthritis, like all those things are food related illnesses. So I've been teaching y'all women how to eat to heal. All right. So, you know, I've been getting good and my Instagram is, is blowing up and I'm creating all these fun videos and people are really receptive to it. I'm, you know, training lots of women on how to, you know, eat for their healing. And I tag someone in a video that I really look up to. And I was like, check out my video, you know, like, look what I'm doing. So they watch the video and then they say, you know what? All these years, I've seen your videos come across because you know, I, I did go viral maybe a couple times, right? So they said, I haven't seen you, but I, I didn't really think you were talking about anything. Like I thought you were just kind of dancing around on your videos <laughs> and not really talking of any substance. And I was like, well, yeah, like, I got a whole story. I got a whole purpose of why I'm plant-based and why I'm teaching people how to do it and why I make it fun. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that. I, I make it fun to eat more fruits and vegetables, period. So they said, okay, well, I see that you are um, advertising other businesses. Like I see that you're advertising other people's businesses, other people's products. Have you thought about having your own product? And I was like, I pray about this every day, every week, right? And that's exactly what I prayed for. And a matter of fact, it was that morning. Y'all, God is good. Write down the comments all the time, okay? Bringing all this together, okay? They were looking at my content and realized that I was really talking about some substance and like really trying to help people and try to make a difference in the world. And um, they referred me to the person that helps them with their herbs, right? And lo and behold, the herbalist was the same guy I sat on his couch for two hours with my mom 11, 12, 13 years ago. Boom. All the lights went off. Oh, all the lights came on. <laughs> all the lights came on. And I was like, I'm destined to do this. Like, that's a full circle if I ever knew a full circle. I prayed on it and God was like, green light, go. So I finally met with the herbalist that, and I told him like, hey, me and my mom had a consultation with you 10, 11, 12, 13 years ago. And he's like, really? And I didn't expect for him to remember who I am, but I wanted him to know this is ordained. Like this was supposed to happen, right? So he was like, okay, well, you know, I'm working with small businesses and you know, if you want to start, I'll definitely help you. Um, do you have your blends? Do I have my blends? I got a whole notebook full of blends that I've been making, full of um, my own special blends. And I was like, yes, I have my own book and, I, and I've been wanting for somebody to review it just to make sure. Um, he was like, yeah, well send me what you have and we'll go over it and we'll look at it. And I'm like, this is a master herbalist of 30 plus years looking at my formulas that help people and their Eastern herbs, their African herbs, their herbs from all over the world, okay? And they are sourced, wildcraft, organic, natural, um, doesn't hurt the environment the way they're, they're resourced. I was like, this is really a dream come true for me. So 
me and the herbalist get together, we go over this, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to have two or if I want to have 50. <laughs> like, how many do I want? So I started this journey with nine. Nine, okay? Nine blends and i'll be showing you guys all of the blends as time goes on you probably see some pictures flash here and there of of the herbs that i have but um please know that my heart and soul went into these blends and this was just ordained and destined and um it's already been a month into my business and i've already sold over 300 bottles of herbs okay like i've sold out multiple times <laughs> already herbs but now i got herbs from africa y'all i got herbs from africa i got herbs from asia okay so i'm excited all about it to to really be able to expose people to new um parts of nature that heal right so that's kind of how all this happened um i picked the name verger right or verdure um because it means fresh it means green it means um new life it means vigorous health it means so many beautiful things right and uh, it's a word that people are not familiar with so therefore you won't get me confused with anybody else okay uh, but check out Verger Herbs on uh, Instagram and vergerherbs.com. That's where you will purchase your herbs. Also, follow me on Instagram at Rashida Joy, where I will talk about the herbs every day, all day. So make sure you like and follow and subscribe if you want to learn more about herbs. And I'll be going in depth with what is in each formula. <laughs> Uh, as time goes on. So thank you guys. Have a great week and I'll be putting out more videos. I promise.